Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John and as you can guess I'm going to unbox the HMV exclusive edition of A Clockwork Orange, the 4K version. Now I've been a big fan of Clockwork Orange for a long time. It's my favourite book of all time as you know and also it's what it's number five in my favourite films of all time. So in fourth place is The Elephant Man. Will Clockwork Orange overtake that on a rewatch? I don't think it will but it's still one of my favourite films of all time. So let's get into this. I ordered this uh, on release. Actually, I ordered, not that I wanted to go near Zavi, but I ordered the Zavi exclusive. Or I went to order the Zavi exclusive. It was sold out immediately. That just sold out and it never came. It said it was going to come back and it never did, but that's just the way it is. So I settled for this one, which is very similar to the uh, Zavi one in the way it's laid out. But what it doesn't feature is that uh, there's a Zavi, the steel book, the Zavi steel book, although I don't really collect them, which is in the set. I think that looked really spectacular. So for me, this is a good second best in that one. And I don't think I'm missing out on anything in particular. So this 4K restoration has been talked about for quite a while and everyone knew it was gonna come out on the 50th anniversary. There would be a fool not to do it on that. But it's been forever talked about or lamented about. So here is the HMV exclusive version of A Clockwork Orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this now, I'm going to let you see what's inside here and that also so I can see what's inside here. Then I'm going to go to the town with my wife, we're going to have a bit of a mondo mucho around, well we are, I am going to have a bit of a mondo mucho around, see what I can find. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to have a look at this uh, 4K, see what it's like and then I'll compare it to a previous Blu-ray. And uh, I'll give you my initial thoughts on this so you get a bit of a flavour of what it is. But I'm going to watch this movie probably tonight or tomorrow because I want to have give a full review of this movie here and a full review of this 4K package in a comparison with my others. This is my most double dipped or God knows how many dipped uh, version of a film that I've got. I'll take you through all the versions that I've got on a different video. So, But first of all, let's unbox this. So here's the front of the cover. I do think that Clockwork Orange has some of the best artwork out there. I would love to have artwork all over the house with it. I don't think my wife would approve. And uh, I think this will look absolutely amazing on the shelves. I just love the way that this movie is presented. And probably in all its uh, in all its incarnations on home media, it seems to have always had a nice little uh, look to it. It's got a bit of a unique look. The film is a unique film as well. There's not another film that looks like it, in my opinion, or sounds like it. So that's the box there and it's come in great condition as well you always get this fear that when they come it's going to be pranged so when i got delivered today i was waiting behind the letterbox because i thought wow if this thing goes there and uh, drops on the floor and prangs this corner but they couldn't get it through the letterbox thank god so i just uh, accepted it at the door so okay let's see what we'll get inside here first of all we have the 4k now i know that this might not have every single extra that's ever been ported across from every single version of a clockwork orange but because i've probably got every single version of a clockwork orange i know that it doesn't matter if it didn't have all the extras on i will have the extras on here that are missing on here on different sets i'll have a look through them and see which ones you might need to pick up if you want to pick up this one and you want to get some exclusive extras or on a certain disc i will say if you get this one and get this this disc or these discs you will have everything to do with a clockwork orange if you want to um, collect it that way so I've heard a few conflicting reports about the movie itself. I've heard that there's sometimes that, uh, well, of course, the discs are in orange. What else could it be? Just love that. Uh, love the whole Clockwork Orange. Actually, obviously, the orangeness of a Clockwork Orange. Oh, there's, there's three discs here. You get the feature film in 4K. You get the feature film in Blu-ray. Now, I'm led to believe my good friend John Hall had this set ordered but he's going to sell it because he said that uh, he thought that the Blu-ray was going to be remastered, which I thought as well, but it hasn't. It's just taken a previous Blu-ray, which is a bit, if they're going to uh, upgrade the 4K, you may as well upgrade the Blu-ray as well and give somebody, if you're just collecting Blu-rays, a bit of an uptick as well. And you do get a bonus disc. There is, uh, there's no flippable art on there, which isn't a problem. I'm really excited to see what this looks like because I do think the Clockwork Orange has got a good look on film. I saw this first when it came out, when I had it on a French bootleg copy, which must have been about a 10th generation copy. It looked absolutely atrocious. The sound on it was just awful. So this is a massively iconic scene for me. I think that Clockwork Orange is full of massively iconic scenes. I just love, like I say, the whole 
look of it is sometimes some films look that good that you can forgive them their imperfections i don't think clockwork orange does have imperfections if i'm honest uh but it looks that spectacular that i can just watch it like eye candy as well as watching it as a good film so that's the disc there also you get this booklet as well and it's a glossy booklet and you've got a lot of a lot of pictures there's a lot of uh, stills and pictures in this movie that you just think are just absolutely so i'd imagine kubrick used to document everything he had he was meticulous in that way i think that's why his whole movies looked so good because he planned them for years and years to make them as good as he could get them i don't think he ever made a dud because um he he planned them that there was never any made in a rush because he just didn't do things like that Kubrick was somebody who probably took his time but maybe even a little bit too much time because you were always waiting for the next Stanley Kubrick movie to come out and it seemed to be talked about for a lot of times before it came out Eyes Wide Shut being one of them that was mentioned a long time before it came out and then I think he well he died just just after that which was a shame because I think he had a few in the pipeline which would have been great to see Stanley Kubrick make more films than he did because he only made 16 sort of feature films but they all they all looked different they all looked like a Stanley Kubrick movie but they all looked as if they were um like a different genre a different type of movie a different way they were shot although they still were shot in Stanley Kubrick mode this is a great book like this a few pictures I can't really show but in and uh, it's got loads of things to this has got loads and loads of stuff the artwork and and bits and pieces that are sort of just you know that uh, everyone's seen throughout the years so that's a, that's an amazing booklet and even though that's probably new ish art it still looks like original art it might even be original art i know that's very original that one also you get this wallet and on the back you get the the drinks that are served in the Corova milk bar because they drink alcoholic milk so who would have thought back in the day when this book was written in the 60s that this uh these drinks would have been sort of fantastic to think that you could drink alcoholic milk well, look at this now we're drinking alcoholic pop so there's them things and if you wanted to get a drink from the, the Corova milk bar you could get maloco maloco plus maloco synthamesh maloco drenchrom and Maloko Vela set. So which one would you choose? So in the wallet you get a lot of art cards. And these these pictures here are just iconic. The artwork on here or the sort of symbolism on here is just amazing. I could like I say I could have this all over the wall. Um my wife might not agree with that. In fact she doesn't agree with it because I said come on I've just got a big clockwork orange print just something like that on the wall no she said there you go this scene here in the subway is one of my favorite scenes in the movie some of these are very glossy as well now this scene here where um Malcolm McDowell has his uh, eyes held open so we can see what's on the screen he did scratch his retina on here as well you could tell mind it was a uh, it looked a bit of an aggressive thing to have that things put into your eyelids okay so there's the R cards you also get a copy of a newspaper doctors blame government scientists for changing Alex's nature that was a Ludovico treatment so yeah so that's it's a nice little touch in there you got a double-sided poster here so you get that one there which I would say is a very much an original poster because uh, I remember my books that I've got from the, the 70s they have got that cover on it I love that cover actually I think it just sums up everything about a clockwork orange so that there as well that's very iconic I said iconic quite a few times because really this is one of the most iconic movies you can see in presentation I feel right so I'm gonna go to the town I'm gonna come back and have a quick look through this I'm gonna flick through some of my favorite scenes get my idea about what the 4k looks like in picture and sounds then I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna also do a proper uh, video on this one what I think about it you know after watching the whole thing and then I'm going to go and show you on that video I'll show you all my other versions of a clockwork orange that I've got okay so back from Newcastle I've got some good stuff actually I'm going to show that off a little bit later on in, on in the week 
so yes so I checked this out and I did compare it to my blu-ray this is the US blu-ray which is exactly the same as the blu-ray in here but I do feel that the US blu-ray does look a little bit better than the blu-ray the old UK blu-ray which is found in here now it's a bit of a shame that they haven't uh, used a 4K restoration that they've got and put it onto the Blu-ray and give yourself a nice upgraded Blu-ray, which if you're interested in sort of upgrading without um, having a 4K player and doing a bit of a future proof, you're not going to get much else than you had in, in the previous Blu-ray. In fact, you're getting the same Blu-ray. So thoughts on this? Well, I can, I've got to say, in my opinion, this looks absolutely stunning. It looks much better than the Blu-ray. I could tell as soon as I put it on that the picture, especially at the start with Alex, what he's looking at menacingly at the, the camera, I could see, you could see much more detail in the face. I did think that during, during the, the clips that I put on, I could see lots more detail, much more than I could in the Blu-ray. The picture, the uh, colors in here are good, but I do think that they're muted, but I think they're muted for a reason. If you look at any early 70s dystopian future movies, they always look a little bit cold to that eye they're not looking very warm now this picture does look cold um but it looks cold in a good way i don't think there's anything that i would say that i find of putting in this in this movie i know some people say it's not the best restoration of a kubrick movie but i do think it's the best restoration this is what kubrick wanted because it's it's done with uh, someone who worked with him and he's taken uh, a good sort of oversee over that the, the kubrick foundation oversees his uh, 4k restorations so I do believe that this is it looks as good as it's supposed to look actually. Now what I usually do is I usually keep on this cellophane on here, but I'm have to take it off because I notice that these things here can come off. Now they're a bit of a eyesore when it comes to this. I'm going to keep that though and stick that somewhere in the box. But uh, but this but this presentation looking that good, I do want to um, take it off and have this this uh, box set looking really good now when I went to Newcastle this was actually in there which I was surprised to see they had a standard 4k with a slip case on it for 20 quid and had this version here for 34.99 which is what I paid for it but I'm so glad to get it in perfect condition and I will be watching this either tonight or tomorrow night because I just want to get this watched I've been waiting so long to see the 4k on it that I can't put it off much longer so excited for it also there's something on the top there which I didn't show you before so yeah so what i'll do is in, on my next clockwork orange video i'll go through this in a little bit more detail after i've watched it and also what i'll do is i'll show you what other versions of clockwork orange i've got so anyway so thanks for watching you take care and i'll see you in the next video cheers